Hi everyone, back to the more YouTube channel. It's Chris back with a real quick thought of the day that's all about our flying winger. That's right, Flash Gordon's alive and he's staying at Newcastle United by the looks of it. If you believe the news that's going around social media by various outlets, in particular a well-known football agent, saying that it looks like Anthony Gordon is very, very close to signing an extension to his current contract at Newcastle United to take him up to 2029. This is brilliant news, really brilliant news. Everyone's been a bit concerned about Gordon, myself included, in terms of his headspace, what has he been thinking, you know, being away at the summer with England, being criminally underused by the previous England manager, Gareth Southgate. And then the links to Liverpool, did it turn his head? Did he want to leave the club? We wonder what the hell was going on. The season started, he looked a bit huffy, looked a bit moody. We were all asking what the hell was going on. But this is massive for Newcastle United, for Anthony Gordon to commit his future to the football club is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. He's one of our best players, no doubt about it. One of the one of the key elements of this team to help get us back to the Champions League. Him, Alexander Rizak, Bruno Gimaraes, them three players. Bruno's already signed. Gordon looks like he's going to sign. Isaac could be next. I think this is what Newcastle and I need to do. Lock down these top players because they're the players who want to build this football team around. And it's brilliant news. It really, really is. And I wonder whether it just puts another spring in the step of, of flash against Manchester City. That's a big game for Anthony Gordon. These are the kind of games that Anthony Gordon, Bruno Gimmarais and Alexander Rizak all want to show their skills in against the best of the best. They want to say, no, don't look at Haaland. Look at me. I'm Alexander Rizak. You know, don't look at Grealish. Don't look at Doku. Look at me. I'm Anthony Gordon. Don't look at, you know, Kovacic and all these other players. I would have said Rodri, but he's out injured. And Bruno Gimmarais. These are the games that these players want to stand out in and we need them to stand out in those games. Mark did a brilliant preview in my absence of the day. I was feeling a bit poorly. Um, so Mark stepped in, did a brilliant job. Check the preview out if you haven't already, guys. Did a great job there. Very detailed as the stat man in the preview. It's going to be tough for Newcastle. It really, really is. And, you know, the performance probably matters more than the result, as mad as that sounds. But, you know, St. James's Park, Toon Army in full voice, early kickoff. You know, I think Anthony Gordon may be looking like he's bang at it again. You know, we really could, hopefully, do something against Manchester City. It's a tall ass, but hey, why not go for it? But I think Alexander Rizak's probably going to be out in this game, potentially by the looks of it. It might just be a little bit of mind games by Eddie, but maybe Gordon will start through the middle. But this is great news on the eve of a massive game like that. A game that we want to be performing in, a game that we want to show us our, our quality in, you know, how close we may be to Manchester City. I think we're probably quite far away, but that's no slight on any other lads. Like Manchester City are so far ahead, that's why that they're as good as they are. But yeah, brilliant news for Anthony Gordon. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think about this deal. I know football deals can sometimes be a little bit, you know, overhyped. You know, you say a player could sign a new deal and then still be sold in the summer. But I don't think that's going to happen here. Let's hope that the club are going to invest well in January, invest well next summer, add to quality. And that's why Anthony Gordon has decided to commit his future here. Because why would he if he didn't think it was the place to be? There's a question to ask yourself before you maybe feel a bit negative about it. One last word just about about this football can take a back seat when things like this happen uh, our thoughts are with Baron Eels and his family after you know the news broke that he was going to step down from his role as CEO um, you know after being diagnosed with a, a severe uh, blood cancer condition I think it is so uh, really really sad news uh, for Darren and for his family and I really hope that he can pull through that um, and you know our thoughts and prayers I'm sure as the rest of all the Newcastle United fan bases are with them regardless of what we've been saying about transfer windows and all the other noise around it this is a human being with a family and we wish him well uh, get well soon Darren and we really hope that uh, this isn't uh, as, as severe as it, as it maybe could be uh, there will be a successor appointed and I'm sure we'll keep an eye on that whenever that happens but you know for now get well soon Darren Eels but yeah let us know in the comments below guys what you think about Anthony Gordon's new deal I think it's great news for the football club shows we're going in the right direction Tie him down, get Alexander Rizak tied down next, add some quality in the next couple of windows and we can maybe get back to where we think this club should be. But a huge game of the weekend against Manchester City. We'll be back with a post-match analysis straight after that game. Join us in the live chat. Hopefully we're talking about a good Newcastle United performance. You never know, maybe a good result if Anthony Gordon's decided to show up and show everybody what he's all about. Have a belt everyone, we'll see you later. Cheers.